From Star Trek. They have the cloaking device. To Harry Potter. That's an invisibility cloak. I'm invisible. Making an object invisible has long been a staple of fantasy and science fiction. But new research by Dr. Andrea Alou in the field of metamaterials is bringing the idea of invisibility, or cloaking, closer to reality. We caught up with Andrea in Amsterdam while on sabbatical from his lab at the University of Texas. The scattering from an object is actually the reason why we see objects. When uh, light illuminates an object, a portion of this energy gets uh, scattered, uh, reflected or diffused. And that's what our eyes uh, detect. What we proved is that if you are able to design a suitable material that can scatter light with an opposite phase than the one scattered by the object, the interference between the two scattered waves can cancel the overall scattering of the cloaked object. And if you are able to do it for all angles, then the object becomes transparent. Andrea and his team haven't yet created material that will make objects vanish before your eyes, but they have captured a lot of attention for successfully making objects invisible to radio waves. Our group has shown the first prototype of a cloak for a 3D object in free space, and since then we've worked on many advances in this field. Their focus has been on creating metamaterials to cloak radio antennas. We build cloaks or flexible surfaces that can be put around an object to make it disappear from uh, specific frequencies of excitation, essentially build a cloak of invisibility for uh, objects of interest. These radio antennas developed by Andrea can transmit and receive signals, but are also radio transparent. So other antennas placed very nearby them or are not affected by the presence of these radio transparent antennas. Often time, these antennas need to operate in very crowded environments. And the, some of the concepts he proposed would allow us to have more devices in a noisy environment without having them interfering with each other. And that can improve radio communications, especially in crowded environments like an antenna array, the rooftop of a building or a ship or an airplane or a laptop in which many antennas have to be placed nearby each other and there are many other objects that interfere. Andrea and his team are also working on a technology that could potentially double the capacity of wireless networks called full duplex communication. Today when we talk on a cell phone, we are using one frequency channel to transmit our signals, our voice, and another frequency channel to receive the signals from the radio base station. With this device, now we're able to do full duplex communications. We're able to transmit and receive at the same time on the same frequency. We were able to build uh, isolators and uh, circulators that are more complex uh, three-part devices that uh, allow to transmit and receive through the same device at the same time on the same frequency channel. This was highlighted on the cover of Science last year. I have here uh, this uh, little sample. With so much potential, it's no surprise that Andrea's innovations are being shared all around the world. He's one of the best that UT System has to offer. And I think the work that he's done will truly have a potential to impact future technology. The basic equations that uh, govern everything that I do can be written like this. The field has exploded. Now metamaterials encompasses many different areas, not just electromagnetics, but uh, many fields of science. It's a very exciting field of research.